Hi, I'd like to give a quick demo of a project I've been working on for the last few months called Splatapult. So this is a program that you could use to display in real time uh, scenes captured using the 3D Gaussian splats uh, mechanism. Uh, for example, let's run one now, uh, which is a train, uh, and you could use the keyboard uh, or mouse to uh, maneuver around this scene in real time. Uh, this particular train uh, is from the Tanks and Temples benchmark. Uh, you could see this guy here. Uh, and the video was downloaded and then fed through the Gaussian splatting project to, uh, yeah, to create that 3D scene. Uh, installing the software is, is uh, you know, a bit complicated. Um, it requires Python and CUDA and a bunch of other things. Uh, however, there are uh, uh, other ways to capture scenes, uh, specifically Luma AI. And I'd like to walk you through an example of uh, a scene that I captured with Luma AI. And uh, I'd like to render it for you in Splatapult uh, in VR. So, um, so we've already seen the uh, the this scene of the train, um, I use Luma AI to, let's see if I could find it here, uh, capture my local park. Uh, I, de I went and downloaded this scene onto my hard drive, and then now I could use my Splatapult program to render it in VR. Uh, well, I could render it in desktop first. I think I put it in the data... Uh, lake park lake park .ply. and then here's the scene um, a lot of times these scenes and this one especially it's like not quite lined up properly so I wanted to show you the scene in VR and then how you can configure it uh, to be the correct scale and rotation uh, so for example uh, well, let me put on my head my headset all right and uh, let's run this guy so as you could see the scene is uh, uh, sorry I have my headset on so you're seeing the output of one of the, the eyes uh, you know you could use the thumbnail thumbstick to rotate around but you could also use the grip button to translate through the scene. So, uh, so let's try to get this um, about about the right size, uh, look, you know, height. Uh, and then you can use the grip buttons as well to rotate the scene. So the the it seems like the ground is a little not level. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten it. Uh, you could also uh, rescale the scene if things are too too large or too small. And then once you've finished with that calibration, uh, you could hit the Enter key to save that to a file, a config file that should be in the same directory as the PLY file you loaded. Uh, and then every time you load up that scene again, it will be in the proper orientation. Uh, and then also that orientation will be used in desktop mode as well. So that's it. Uh, thank you for listening.